This video is to explain and show how to open a DBase file in Microsoft Excel 2010. I have Excel open, navigate to File, Open, and this dialog pops up. If you do not have the extensions, stop what you're doing and go back to Windows Explorer, not Internet Explorer, but Windows Explorer. Our how we view our files and in the tools drop down and if you don't have tools you'll have to add that toolbar you can refer to a few previous labs for that go to folder options view and this should be unchecked hide extensions for known file types leave it as it is say ok or of course if it's not checked you're good it, if it is checked uncheck it but we want this blank. Then say OK. And we'll move this out of the way. Now you can probably see the XLS and the XML and the DBF XML. This is not an XML file. This is an XML document. And that's metadata that we cannot use in Excel. To, in order to see the county attributes DBF, navigate down to the bottom and instead of all Excel files, change that to all files now you should have a list of a bunch more files this is my schema lock because I already have it open in ArcMap but here is the country attributes DBF and that is a type DBF file notice when I hover it says DBF file that's the one I'm going to click on and say open while we're here I'm going to show you first of all how to delete some columns that we do not need all we're interested in is the name column therefore I'm going to click on the header of the columns I don't want a for example and scroll over to F from there I right click on a column header say delete and the columns are deleted I now click on column B and C because I do not need them now and click delete I now just have one column I'm going to bring it back so it's a little bit easier to see I have a single column of data that I'm going to use in a different file that I have open if at any point you make a mistake you can simply go back to the undo button right up here undo column width and I click it again to undo delete those but I'm going to go back because that's exactly what I wanted to do take a look at the data I don't have any spaces in the title the name but notice there's a couple instances of Whatcom several Skagit Sam Wands I don't want duplicates to get rid of duplicates there's an easy way click on A and go to data in the data tab there's in the data tools remove duplicates is a simple key I click it this pops up in the column name yes my data does have headers called name I click OK 10 duplicate values were found and removed 39 unique values remain that is exactly what I want and I say OK my next step is to copy these names into my other table. The quickest way to do that is to use this slider bar, slide down to number 40, click in 40 and scroll, scroll up. The reason we scroll up is, is that it's easier to contain. If I were to scroll down to 40, it's harder to get just to 40. Whereas if I scroll down on the bottom to this, using this scroller bar, click to 40 and go up all I need to do is come back one step to not get name and I have my item selected all 39 counties with my 39 counties selected I use the keyboard shortcut control C for copy I get the dancing ants I know I have it I'm going to minimize this window and go back to my other table which is lab 2 table underneath county I click in cell A2 and 
the home tab I'm going to use paste and just values either one two three one two three or this one two three and here I just need values and I paste values these are getting cut off a little bit by column B I place my cursor between column A and column B and double click and it automatically resizes my column for me I'm going to sort my county names by scrolling to the bottom using the scroll bar clicking on 40 and scrolling up to the top going to data and sort in the sort button I tell it that my data has headers because I have a header row being one and then I will sort by county click OK and my data is sorted by county